In a world full of chaos and challenges, we often feel swept away by the endless stream of events beyond our control. But amid all this turbulence, there exists a philosophy that has endured for centuries, offering peace, resilience, and self-mastery to those who are willing to learn. This is Stoicism, a philosophy that doesn't teach us to avoid difficulties, but to face and overcome them. It doesn't encourage the pursuit of fame and material wealth, but the search for happiness through self-discipline. These timeless lessons, taught by great Stoic thinkers like Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca, continue to guide us. Today on Motivation Life Channel, we will uncover 10 powerful lessons from Stoic philosophy. Simple yet profound, these quotes will empower you to face life's challenges with confidence, peace, and wisdom. To live a life not controlled by circumstances, but led by reason and inner strength. Let's begin. Number one, you cannot control what happens, but you can control how you react. This statement underscores a key principle of Stoic philosophy, control over oneself. In Stoicism, it's believed that while external events are beyond our control, we have complete control over how we choose to react to them. This highlights the distinction between what is uncontrollable, external events, and what is within our control, internal reactions and attitudes. In daily life, people often face unexpected or unwanted situations, such as failure in work, loss of possessions, or conflict with others. These situations are inevitable, but what matters most is how we choose to face them. A wise person remains calm, assesses the situation, and reacts with reason and composure. In Marcus Aurelius's Meditations, he emphasized that while we cannot control the actions of others or fate, we can control our emotions and responses. This quote strongly reflects the Stoic belief in personal freedom. Regardless of changing circumstances, our mind can remain free and unshaken if we learn how to control it. In modern psychology, this concept resonates with the idea of locus of control. Those with an internal locus of control believe they can influence their reactions, while those with an external locus often feel helpless and overwhelmed by circumstances. Emotional regulation not only improves mental well-being, but also enhances decision-making and stress management. This quote encourages us to accept the uncontrollable and focus on what we can control, ourselves. It's a foundation for living a life of internal freedom, regardless of external events. Number two, what comes will come, but how you receive it is what truly matters. This quote highlights the importance of acceptance and how we handle situations based on our perception. It suggests that no matter what life brings, the key is not the event itself, but how we choose to receive and process it. It touches upon the development of an inner mindset of acceptance rather than resistance to the uncontrollable. In daily life, people face unavoidable challenges such as loss, failure, or betrayal. While these events may be inevitable, how we receive them is within our control. For instance, if someone encounters financial difficulties or a job loss, they cannot prevent these from happening, but they can choose to face these hardships with resilience and positivity instead of being overwhelmed by negative emotions. This quote reflects the stoic belief in accepting reality and responding to circumstances rationally. Philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus often spoke about the inability to control external events, but the ability to control one's response. Marcus Aurelius once wrote, Remember that it is not events that disturb us, but our interpretation of them, reinforcing the idea that attitude towards events is key. In modern psychology, particularly in cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, there is a similar concept. It is not the events themselves that cause distress, but how we perceive and interpret them. The way we receive events can be altered by changing our perception. For example, if someone loses a job, rather than feeling powerless and defeated, they can choose to see it as an opportunity for growth or change. This echoes the idea of what comes will come, but how you receive it is what truly matters in both philosophy and modern psychology. In Buddhism, the idea of accepting impermanence also resonates with this principle. Impermanence means everything changes, and what matters is how one faces that change with wisdom and calmness. By accepting this reality, one can find peace in any circumstance. 
This quote teaches us to focus not on changing external circumstances, but on developing our internal responses. It is a lesson in personal mastery and acceptance that leads to tranquility in all situations. Number three, when you can't control the outside, control your inner self. This quote reflects the stoic principle that, while external events are beyond our control, our internal world, our thoughts, emotions, and reactions, is fully within our grasp. It suggests that personal mastery begins with the regulation of our own mind. In difficult situations, instead of feeling frustrated by external circumstances, we should focus on what we can control, our inner thoughts and emotions. For example, if someone is dealing with stress at work, they cannot always change the environment or the workload, but they can adjust how they think about and react to the stress. This ties directly to the teachings of Epictetus who said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Stoicism encourages individuals to cultivate self-control and resilience by focusing on their inner world, especially when the outer world is chaotic. In psychology, this is aligned with the practice of mindfulness and emotional regulation. Focusing on one's inner self during challenging times can reduce anxiety and increase one's ability to cope with adversity. In this sense, controlling the inner self becomes a form of self-preservation and growth. This quote encourages us to develop inner strength and emotional mastery. When we control our internal world, we become less affected by external forces, leading to greater personal freedom and peace. Number four, happiness doesn't come from wealth, but from self-mastery. This quote challenges the common belief that happiness is tied to material wealth. Instead, it argues that true happiness is found in mastering oneself, one's thoughts, desires, and actions. In modern society, many people chase material success, believing it will bring happiness. However, history shows us that even the wealthiest individuals can feel unfulfilled. This quote suggests that the key to happiness lies in self-control, discipline, and inner peace rather than external possessions. The Stoics believe that true happiness, or eudaimonia, comes from living in accordance with nature and practicing virtue. Marcus Aurelius wrote extensively about the importance of mastering one's desires and emotions in order to achieve tranquility and fulfillment, rather than relying on external wealth or status. Psychologically, this quote touches on the idea of intrinsic versus extrinsic motivation. Happiness derived from intrinsic factors, such as personal growth and self-discipline, tends to be more sustainable than happiness based on external achievements, which are often fleeting. This quote teaches us that the pursuit of self-mastery leads to a deeper, more lasting form of happiness than any material wealth could provide. Number five, personal discipline is the key to freedom. This quote emphasizes the paradox that true freedom is not achieved by indulging in every desire or avoiding discipline, but by cultivating self-discipline. By controlling one's own actions, thoughts, and habits, one gains freedom from external pressures and inner turmoil. In everyday life, discipline enables individuals to achieve their goals and live a more fulfilled life. For example, someone who exercises personal discipline by managing their time well can achieve both professional and personal success without feeling overwhelmed. On the contrary, a lack of discipline often leads to chaos, procrastination, and stress. Stoics like Epictetus taught that personal discipline is essential to living a virtuous life. By practicing self-control, individuals free themselves from the bondage of their own desires and external temptations. True freedom in the Stoic sense is the ability to act according to reason and not be enslaved by passions. From a psychological perspective, self-discipline is crucial for achieving long-term goals. Research shows that people with higher self-control experience less stress higher levels of satisfaction, and are more successful in various aspects of life. This highlights the idea that personal discipline provides the foundation for both inner freedom and external success. This quote teaches that self-discipline is not restrictive, but liberating. By mastering oneself, one gains freedom from external distractions and internal weaknesses, leading to a more balanced and fulfilling life. Number six. Stoicism doesn't teach us to avoid challenges, but to face and overcome them. This quote highlights the proactive nature of Stoicism. 
It emphasizes that stoicism is not about retreating from life's difficulties, but rather facing them with courage and resilience. Challenges are not obstacles to avoid, but opportunities for growth. In the face of adversity, many people seek ways to avoid discomfort or hardship. However, stoicism encourages us to confront challenges head on. For instance, someone who is facing a difficult project at work may be tempted to procrastinate, but stoicism teaches that it's better to tackle the problem immediately and grow stronger through the process. Seneca wrote extensively about how adversity shapes character. He believed that hardship is an inevitable part of life, and what matters is how one responds to it. Stoicism teaches that challenges are opportunities to practice virtues such as courage, patience, and perseverance. In psychology, this can be linked to the concept of growth mindset, where challenges are seen as opportunities to develop new skills and strengthen resilience. Facing and overcoming challenges leads to personal growth and long-term satisfaction. This quote reinforces the idea that true strength is developed through adversity. Instead of avoiding life's difficulties, we should embrace them as opportunities to grow, becoming stronger and more virtuous as a result. Number seven, master yourself before you try to master the world. This quote suggests that self-mastery is a prerequisite to achieving external success or influence. Before seeking control over external circumstances, one must first have control over their inner world, their emotions, desires, and thoughts. In leadership or personal development, this principle holds true. For example, a manager who cannot control their temper or emotions will struggle to lead others effectively. Mastering oneself, developing emotional intelligence, self-discipline, and calmness is essential before attempting to manage or influence others. The Stoics placed a strong emphasis on self-mastery. Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the importance of governing oneself before governing others. This quote echoes the Stoic belief that inner peace and virtue are more important than worldly power or control. In modern psychology, this aligns with the concept of emotional intelligence. To lead or influence others effectively, one must first be aware of and manage their own emotions. This internal mastery is foundational to external success. This quote teaches that true leadership and success come from self-mastery. By controlling one's inner world, one is better equipped to handle and influence the external world. Number eight, we often fail because we refuse to control our own thoughts. This quote highlights the critical role of thought control in determining our success or failure. It suggests that failure often stems from an inability or unwillingness to control negative or self-destructive thoughts. In daily life, unchecked negative thoughts can lead to poor decision-making, low self-esteem, or procrastination. For example, someone who constantly doubts their abilities may fail to pursue opportunities, leading to missed chances and regret. By learning to control their thoughts, they could achieve more and experience greater success. Epictetus taught that, it's not what happens to you, but how you think about it that matters. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of controlling one's thoughts to maintain peace of mind and avoid unnecessary suffering. Negative thoughts, if left unchecked, can lead to emotional distress and failure. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, is rooted in the idea that thoughts influence emotions and behaviors. By controlling or changing one's thoughts, individuals can change their emotional state and improve their outcomes. Failure often results from allowing negative or irrational thoughts to dictate actions. This quote serves as a reminder that success begins with mental discipline. By learning to control one's thoughts, one can avoid self-sabotage and achieve greater success in life. Number nine, what you allow into your mind will define your life. This quote suggests that the thoughts, ideas, and influences we allow into our mind shape who we become. It emphasizes the importance of mental diet, being mindful of what we expose ourselves to as it directly affects our character and actions. In today's world, we are constantly bombarded with information, much of which can be negative or unproductive. If we allow harmful content into our minds through media, negative people, or toxic environments, it can negatively affect our thoughts and behaviors. Being selective about what we consume mentally can lead to a more positive and fulfilling life. The Stoics believe that individuals must guard their minds from harmful influences. 
Marcus Aurelius often wrote about the importance of keeping one's mind pure and free from unnecessary distractions. What we focus on shapes our reality, and by controlling what we let into our minds, we control our perception of the world. This aligns with the concept of neuroplasticity in psychology. The idea that the brain can be shaped by experiences and thoughts. What we allow into our mind influences our neural pathways, ultimately shaping our habits and behaviors. This quote reminds us of the importance of mental discipline and mindfulness. By carefully choosing what we allow into our minds, we can shape our lives in a positive and constructive way. Number 10. Bad habits are easy to develop but hard to break. Good habits are hard to start, but they bring freedom. This quote reflects the common struggle with habits. Negative habits form easily and are difficult to break, while positive habits require effort to establish, but ultimately lead to freedom and fulfillment. Many people struggle with bad habits like procrastination, overeating, or lack of exercise, which are easy to fall into but challenging to overcome. On the other hand, developing good habits like regular exercise, disciplined work schedules, or healthy eating requires effort but results in long-term benefits and personal freedom. The Stoics emphasize the importance of habit and routine in the pursuit of virtue. Developing good habits, such as practicing gratitude, self-discipline, and reflection, is a fundamental part of living a virtuous and fulfilling life. Epictetus stressed that habits form character, and thus we must be vigilant in cultivating good ones. In behavioral psychology, the formation and breaking of habits are well studied. Bad habits are easy to form because they often provide immediate gratification, while good habits require delayed gratification but result in long-term rewards. Building good habits brings freedom because it leads to self-mastery and a healthier, more fulfilling life. This quote highlights the importance of persistence and discipline in developing good habits. While it may be challenging to start, the freedom and fulfillment that come from good habits far outweigh the temporary ease of bad ones. We've just explored 10 timeless lessons from Stoic philosophy, lessons that remind us of the power we hold within. In a world full of uncertainty, these principles guide us to stay grounded, resilient, and in control of our own reactions. From controlling our emotions to mastering our thoughts, Stoicism teaches that true strength lies not in changing the world around us, but in changing how we see and respond to it. Remember, every challenge is an opportunity, every setback a chance for growth. The wisdom of the Stoics has survived centuries for a reason, because these lessons are as relevant today as they were thousands of years ago. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-mastery and wisdom here on Motivation Life Channel. If you found inspiration in these teachings, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with those who may also benefit from this timeless knowledge. Until next time, stay strong, stay mindful, and remember, your greatest power is the power over yourself.